Good morning, everyone. Hi, Birdles. You guys all hiding over on the other side of the cage where the big scary camera is not. You guys, we only have two more days, two or three more days, and then we're gonna be getting in the car. And I'm gonna be putting you guys into your tiny travel cage, and we are gonna be going halfway across the country and moving to Michigan. We're almost there, my little birdos. We're almost there. You guys could really care less right now, huh? Do you want your spray millet? I promised them things we don't have. I went to get them a new spray millet because, you know, a huge part of you when you're still in an old place that you're moving out of is in the regular habits. So I went to reach down under the desk and get their spray millet and there's no spray millet there because the spray millet is in Michigan and actually our stuff's already gotten to Michigan. I think I told you guys that about, about that yesterday. But the stuff is already there and now we just need to go and catch up with it. We'll be able to get into our condo on the first. So we'll be uh, packing everyone up like six, seven in the morning and just driving 10 hours straight to hopefully hit Ann Arbor before the end of the night. And I mean, in 10 hours, we should be able to pull that off just fine. Who knows what we might bump into on the road. Um, we won't really take it too casually since we'll have the birds and the geckos with us. But if we see something like the mountain ranges to stop for for just a second and look at, we might do that. And yeah, so that's our that's our game plan is leaving on Monday. So we still have about three days. Today's goal is to get rid of all of the donation stuff and to turn in like the keys, the P.O. box keys and double check the P.O. box for the very last time and just kind of do all of those basic things. So, oh. It's really coming, and I'm really tired, and I'm making some tea to start my morning with. <laughs> Feeling significantly more awake now. It's just peach tea, and it's not even my favorite peach tea, because we ran out of my peach tea that I love, the celestial seasonings, but I found that Chips had saved some of the uh, like perfect peach tea from Country Life, or whatever it's called, at the very back of the tea cabinet for me, because he knew I would want to drink more of it before we moved. So I thought that was really sweet. He had backup peach tea for me, and that just shows he pays attention to all those little things. He's so amazing that way. Oh, but I'm at that really excited, happy point in the morning. I am such a morning person. I wake up, and after I kind of stretch and do a little bit of morning like yoga, if I'm really feeling ambitious, <laughs> then I just am so happy. I love being awake during the day. I love being awake early in the morning and watching the sunrise, and the birds are clearly more active. There's a little tit mouse who's probably telling me all about the fact that where did all the bird seed that used to live over here for bird seed diaries go? But the birds are more active. It's just so nice. It's not hot yet because it's early in the morning so you can go on walks before it gets really, really nasty. Apparently yesterday when we went to see lemurs was the hottest day of the year. The estimated hottest day of the year for the entire year here in North Carolina. It was 98 when we finally finished looking at lemurs and everybody was sweaty and exhausted. There was actually a family from the Caribbean there who said that it was totally miserable because apparently the Caribbean is not this kind of hot and I was shocked at that I had no idea so it was really cool to listen to them and they were explaining how it's normally like maybe in the 80s and that's their their sort of like high heat and here it's 98 degrees with I think it was like 60% humidity or something ridiculous so we were the only ones who toughed it out. The whole group was exhausted. Like all of the other people on the tour were sweaty and exhausted and running back and forth to go buy more water. And Chip said that's why he thinks we did okay. Because he and I, when we get into an adventure, we're great adventure partners. We're great travel buddies because we both really, really want to do the thing. And if there's mild physical discomfort while doing the thing, that's part of the adventure. So he and I were looking at each other like, are, are they just wimps? So are we just like really really tough all of a sudden are we just able to tolerate this better because we keep the house really cool all the time but it was just really fun because we were totally fine on the tour and it made me realize that when we start traveling to places like China and Taiwan and eventually when like the Zika virus thing calms down a little bit we want to go to Machu Picchu but we don't want to go right now because who knows what the long-term effects of that could be so we're gonna wait that out but man, we just want to travel the world together and we're going to be able to go and it's the morning and I'm really happy and I had to share that I'm super happy and all of these things I'm looking forward to in life with you guys. Because that's really what it's all about is just going out and finding more and more and more of the new adventures. Even if like your current daily schedule may look like something boring, like going to deliver keys and take donations somewhere. But it's just, oh, there's little birdies. They're so cute. They're drinking out of the gutter over there. That's adorable. Oh, I love, I love the morning.
that's the moral of this babbly story is I am an absolute morning person. Um, Walnuts? No, the wasp yeah. burrs. Oh. This is from where the wasp like put their their seed inside of a plant mm -hmm. and it, it grew up and gave it like a little nursery and then you can see where they climbed out. See, I have no love lost. Catch him? Are you sure it was a garter snake? Could have been a legless lizard. Really? Oh, you're so lucky you saw him. What do you want to bet he's gone now? Oh, he's long gone. He's gone. See, and you're always worried about snakes over here too. Yeah. 